Hulk Hogan. It is I, the master from the Dungeon of Doom. And I am returning to AEW Wrestling with a new evil dark order. <laughs> Hola amigos, I hope you enjoyed that introduction. This will be our Rob Wells, Kirsten Figures, coming at you today with a big bad breakdown of Evil Uno from the Dark Order. I hope you liked that intro. I was uh, trying to think of something entertaining to do. And guys, please sit back and relax while I talk you through how and why I made this guy and everything else in between. And I couldn't have a evil video without bringing in the King of Evil from... The early 90s. It is the master, of course, from the Dungeon of Doom. And I couldn't bring in anyone evil related without bringing in evil, of course, from New Japan Pro Wrestling. And when you're talking evil today in AEW, you can't talk about anybody else other than evil Uno. Oh my God, I love this character. It, he sort of, to me, harkens back to like the jobbers of the uh, WCW, uh, WWF and ECW era. But I absolutely love this guy. And he has wrestled all over. He's a legit talent in his own right. AEW, of course. Ring of Honor, Pro Wrestling Gorilla, CZW. This guy has been absolutely everywhere. And for anybody that doesn't know, he's actually Canadian. But he's billed from the keep of the Mushroom Kingdom. But he's only 36 years old. And when you're talking wrestling talent and you're talking a 36-year-old with all of the future in the world, this guy jumps to mind. Say cheers. Cheers. And guys, I do apologise for the quality of this video. I'm actually in the process of moving house at the moment. So, yeah, I'm having to film this a little bit later at night. And, of course, it is November, so the lighting just isn't very good later in the afternoon. But I wanted to make sure that, you know, I saved probably the darkest, most evilest character for the darkest and most, um, you know, crazy lighting time um, that I could. So, yeah, I'd definitely film my other characters earlier in the day, leaving this one to now. So as you can see, this is an awesome Evil Uno Dark Order mask that came from the AEW series. And, oh my god, the detail on this guy. I have touched up a few bits of purple, but mostly this is the original AEW figure. And it really hits the nail on the head and captures that character that we all know and love. Now, of course, for anybody that doesn't know, whose thumb is that? Oh, it's Axel Jim Duggan. And uh, I absolutely love this base for the thicker, more muscular wrestlers. And only 36 years old, man. This guy has a great physique and certainly um, it is definitely somebody that you want to keep an eye out for if you've been watching AEW for a while. There's been some pretty cool matches involved in him. Now, in addition to that, you can see that I have actually hand sculpted all of these details on. I've hand painted every single rivet on his outfit. And if you've not seen Evil Uno before, please go check him out. Nice white socks protrude in there slightly. But I've added on all these nice little textures and belt buckles and things like that with clay to really try and pizzazz him up. This guy's outfit is legit. And of course, the Dark Order, Brody Lee, aka Luke Harper, and all of the stuff that went on, um, you know, with, with that unfortunate tragic ending to to uh, you know a huge part a huge story within AEW with Brody Lee passing away um for me the dark Order lost a little bit of momentum i think they're on another level uh, up until that point but uh, the passing of Brody Lee definitely threw a bit of a spanner in the works. And, of course, you've, you've got people like Evil Uno that are there and still going out and doing their thing, wrestling all over and representing all over. Now, um, I'm going to bring in another legend here. Of course, getting rid of the master, getting rid of evil, you've got to bring back in none other than the great Muta. And here is Bushi from a recent custom figures video hopefully you like both of these guys they're looking really really cool and all of these characters have such a lot of detail time effort that goes into their characters that goes into their outfits if you've not seen their videos please check them out below they are in my hasbro playlist i'm so happy with how all of these guys have turned out and that's why i wanted to end this video with Evil Uno, one of my personal favourite All Elite Wrestling stars. And somebody that, you know, 
is he underutilized? Probably a little bit. You got some real big names coming in. You know, Adam Copeland, Edge, all these other people coming across now. It's fantastic for the wrestling business and fantastic for us as fans. But for me, man, could you think of a more badass team than having Evil? Having Evil Uno. Man, the name's just, <laughs> it's a gimmick that has to be written. And of course, here is the master in the center here. I've done this, this master, if you haven't seen the video yet, there's actually a standing version and there is a seated version. And he actually, actually has a magnet in the center of his waist to allow him to sit down with a different set of legs that I've got. And of course, then to stand up as he, he is here. Could you imagine this back in the 90s? Face it off against Hulk Hogan. Man, that would have been a sight for sore eyes. I would have loved to have seen that. How would Hulk Hogan have overcome these guys? I do not know. But one thing I do know is that this would be a badass team, a badass stable. Chuck in a nice little bit of the great Muta there. An AEW alumni along with Evil. And maybe chuck in a little bit of Japanese with the original Evo, Evil and Bushi. Man, this team, I would challenge this. Any team, the Roman Empire, anybody else to take on this set of current and past legends alike. So please guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of this video. It has been a pleasure getting to film this. It has been a pleasure and it's a bit of an end of an era using this master character. And some of these wrestlers that you're seeing, these are all getting shipped out today to my customer in America. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me, giving me kind, inspirational comments. And uh, yeah, it's been really, really exciting this last year, working on some of my best ever custom figures. I'm going to just zoom in on that throne there. And I will leave it with just two wrestlers, remove them. And there is the throne sitting there for anybody that hasn't seen it yet looking oh so very grand will there ever be another awesome bad guy like the master like the dungeon of doom and i think the dark order if anybody could uh, possibly do anything within the realm of the kevin sullivan and uh, the master wcw classic era television it would be the dark order on that note, guys, I'll see you soon. Adios.